Today I am very excited. I have a very cool watch to show you guys. It's a diver from a Swiss brand that we are all very familiar with. It is Ratto. It's the Captain Cook in high-tech ceramic. And also this gets a high-tech ceramic bracelet, which is really very, very cool. And I'm excited to show it to you guys because Ratto are sort of known for their high-tech materials. This has stainless steel. It's hardened stainless steel on there. It is made out of plasma ceramic. It's made out of titanium. So a lot goes into this watch and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the high-tech ceramic version of the Captain Cook. So here it is, and you can see why I'm so excited about this watch. I really do love the Captain Cook. I love the look of this watch. I love the ceramics that they use, all the materials that go into a watch like this. Ratto are known for using different materials, and you get a lot of that in this watch. Obviously, they use the high-tech plasma ceramic, but you also get hardened stainless steel in this watch. That's in the bezel. Not the bezel insert, but the actual bezel itself is made out of hardened stainless steel. So you actually get a very good bezel action because of that. And then you have titanium elements in the bracelet. Now the bracelet itself, all of the links are made out of ceramic, but this portion I believe is made out of titanium. There are other portions of it that are made out of titanium. It might be the clasp itself. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I know that there are elements of the clasp that are made out of titanium. The case back, I believe, is made out of ceramic, and the case, the crown, the bracelet links, those are all made out of plasma high-tech ceramic. The insert, that's also ceramic, and that's sort of a kind of a, a grayish color that matches the center links on the bracelet. The center links are polished while this insert is a brushed element on the watch. The uh, bezel is a high polished stainless steel. The case itself bead blasted or meant to look like a bead blast. It's like a matte finish on the case. And then the outer links on the bracelet, even the sides, those have that same finish as the case. Then you have a polished crown. The crown is huge on this. It's signed with that little anchor, that anchor that you get as the logo right below the 12 o'clock with that sapphire colored background, you have that little anchor that moves around with your wrist. So sort of like the uh, pendulum on an automatic movement when you move your wrist, that little anchor will swing around. Very cool little element that's done on all Ratto, almost all Ratto I think. I actually own a vintage Ratto that's uh, actually pretty old from like the 1960s. Same thing on that dial, has a little anchor there. You have applied indices. Those are filled with Lume, Super Luminova. And then you have a broad arrow hour hand. And then you have a fence post minute hand, a little arrow second hand. All of those are filled with Lume as well. Beautiful blue lacquered dial, sort of a polished finish on it almost looks metallic. It's sort of curved as well. I'm not sure if it's distortion from the boxed sapphire crystal, which is raised off of the case a little bit, but it looks like it's curved just a little bit and gives it that vintage flair. Even though this is a very modern watch, gives it a little bit of a vintage look. And another element that gives it that vintage look, and again, something that is very similar to the Ratto Overpole, Captain Cook that I own, which is the world time version of the Captain Cook from the 1960s, you get a red date wheel. So it's a white background with red numerals, which looks phenomenal. It's sort of a sandwich portion as well, because the dial is technically, I guess, a sandwich at the same time, because you have that little anchor that sort of sits on level with the dial, but it's actually below the dial. And then you have a little window that sits on top of that window for the date. So I'll do close-ups of it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's a little hard to describe. This is a 300 meter ISO certified dive watch. So you do get a screwing crown, you do get a screwing case back. Um, and like I said, you get loom on here so you could see this at night and in dark situations underwater, things like that. Inside, you're getting a Powermatic 80. It's basically the R763, I believe it's what they call it, but it's basically an, a Powermatic 80 from the Etta Group. Ratto do their own treatment to it. 80 hours of power reserve, you get a uh, silicon hairspring, things like that. Really great power reserve on there. Obviously, the reason why you would get that is because of the 80 hour power reserve. You put it down on a Friday, you could pick it up on a Monday, and it'll still be running. You don't have to set your uh, watch again in order to get the time. Really awesome element about the Powermatic 80. Bracelet is 
phenomenal. So as I mentioned, the outer links are in a brushed or really matte finish. The center links are in a polish. They look metallic. They aren't, they're made out of ceramic. They are a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, as you can see. So that's something to keep in mind. You will need to, uh, you know, wipe them down from time to time to keep the uh, fingerprints from uh, showing up on there. Other than that, let's do measurements and then uh, I'll throw it on my wrist so you guys can see how this fits on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now this is definitely not the first Rado I have featured on my channel. It's not the first plasma ceramic Rado that I featured on my channel. I featured the chronograph, which was awesome. Uh, 43.5. So this is the 43 millimeter version. They make other versions of this. I believe they make it in the 37.5 millimeter version, which is pretty awesome. That's one that I would love to get in on the channel because I think that's the sweet spot for a lot of people. Uh, 49.4 millimeter lug to lug. The effective lug to lug is big on here, 57 millimeters. So this will wear big on most wrists. So I'm gonna throw it on my seven and a half inch wrist so you can see what I'm talking about. This is something that I could definitely pull off, but if you have a very small wrist, not sure this would be good. So 7.6 millimeter crown, huge grippy crown, I love that. 14.4 millimeters thickness, 300 meter dive watch, screwed in case back. Uh, with a domed box sapphire crystal. Really not that bad considering it's made out of ceramic and all these different materials. I think that's decent. Uh, very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist and then we will do a quick loom shot. We'll talk about price as well. Uh, but today I am wearing another Swatch Group product. This is the Moon Watch and uh, this is just a phenomenal watch. I love the bracelet on here. I love this upgraded, it's uh, I guess updated, I wouldn't call it upgraded, but the upgraded bracelet or updated bracelet on here with the uh, stripes down the uh, buckle here looks awesome. I love the logo, how it fits on there, looks great. Now this is not size to my wrist because this is not my watch, so I didn't want to uh, start doing all of that, but you could see, and I've worn one of these, I've been to uh, Rado events and, and I really do enjoy Rado. I love Rado. Um, and the next watch that I purchase probably will be a Rado. I think it's going to be that Overpole because I'm a big fan of the Overpole. Like I said, I'm a vintage version, which is actually being serviced right now. So uh, I'll be doing a video on that. You can see, look at that. You know, it's got that metallic look, but it's not. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. It does wear high on the wrist, you can see, because it is, you know, a big watch. It's not, you know, tiny. Uh, the the lug to lug, is, the effective lug to lug of 57 millimeters doesn't bother my seven and a half inch wrist, but I would imagine if you have a smaller wrist, probably in the neighborhood of six and a half inches, this would be a little bit big on your wrist, depending on how you want to wear it. But on a strap, I think it would wear a little bit better uh, for someone like, uh, with someone with a smaller wrist, obviously. Well, there you go. So price on this, let's talk about that very quickly. This is $3,500 with the bracelet, I believe. Uh, so that's what they charge for this watch on the bracelet. I think they sell these on straps and they're a little bit cheaper. And then the 37 millimeter, I think is around the same price. It's a little bit cheaper as well on the strap. Actually, it might be cheaper in general. I don't know. Uh, for sure if they sell that on a bracelet at all, but I think it's a little bit cheaper than this watch um, But all in all a lot goes into making this watch the plasma ceramic uh, And then you're getting hardened stainless steel titanium really just a lot of nice elements go into this watch. So uh, Pretty cool. So very quickly. Let's do a loom shot and then wrap up the video So very nicely loom the hands are very liberally applied with loom so are the indices, but you also get loom on the chapter ring. So each one of those hashes is every five minutes, you get loom on the chapter ring as well. Pretty cool. And then you have a large triangle on the bezel for orientation, uh, which is great. Let's do quick bezel action, actually. I forgot to do that. So this is great bezel action because of that hardened stainless steel on the bezel. You get really good bezel action, in my experience, from watches that have hardened stainless steel. That's because hardened stainless steel is really hard. You get a really nice click, very good sound from it. Everything here uh, adds up to that, so it's really nice. I really do like that. 
Um, that's really it. I mean, the only other thing that I forgot to mention, I think, is that the Powermatic 80 in here is regulated to, I think, in five positions, something like that, three or five positions. So a, a little bit nicer than your standard Powermatic 80, and that's because it's going into a slightly more higher-end watch. That's really it. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Obviously, I'm a big fan of this watch. I'm a big fan of Rado. I'm a big fan of the Captain Cook in particular from Rado. Uh, one day, I want to own the 37 millimeter version of either the Captain Cook or that Overpole because I'm a big fan of the Overpole, a watch that I seeked out for a long time um, and eventually bought one and it, uh, it just needed to be serviced, so that's what I'm doing now. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of Rado, all the different materials that they use? It's kind of what you go to Rado for. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Thanks for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.